Hey, how's it going everyone? Tricky Acid here, and during the Resident Evil showcase, besides showing off some RE8 gameplay, for PS5 users, you'd have the chance to try out the visual tech demo for Resident Evil Village, where you play as the Maiden, and not the actual protagonist, Ethan. It's basically designed to showcase the game from a visual aspect. Now, I've played the demo once already, but I thought I'd do a walkthrough with live commentary from start to finish, so chill back, get comfy, make some tea while you're at it, and with that said, be sure to subscribe if you're new, and let's jump right in. Alright guys, so welcome to the Maiden Resident Evil Village visual tech demo on the PlayStation 5. It's been a very long time since I've actually done live commentary, so bear with me. Uh, but hopefully we'll enjoy this together as it is a pretty scary game. And uh, we'll have some fun with it uh, throughout this walkthrough. So behind us, we'll uh, examine something first. Ah, the scrap of paper! Press triangle so we can read it. And let's examine this and see what it says. To whomever is trying to escape this place, I hope this note will be of some assistance. You don't know me, but you will have to trust me if you want to survive. First, you need to get out of the cell. Well, no shit, Sherlock. Look around for the way. Get on your hands and knees if you must. Then, search for the thing you'll need to escape. It will be hidden where they'll least suspect, soaked in blood. Once you get out of the dungeon, you should find yourself in a room. The door there won't lead to salvation. The light will lead you down the right path. You might hit a dead end, but do not give up. There should be a way to proceed hidden somewhere. Once you find the ladder, the only way is up. But watch out. Don't let them see you. I plan to make my escape tonight and pray that you make it out alive. Brilliant. So that note was practically our escape route on how to get out of here. So, first things first is to crouch and go underneath here so we can find the secret passage and... Uh, get out of here, which will lead us to another cell with another toilet, except this one's full of maggots, so uh, I don't advise you uh, using that. And uh, let's get ourselves out of the cell. Brilliant, we're free. And we've got a bit of a, a lot of, a lot of blood, a lot of blood. First thing first, we'll go through here and... Um, Examine. Medicine for keeping livestock alive. Yeah, so we're in the medicine cabinet, I guess, if you will. Oh, let's get out of here. Already, immediately, this looks so awesome. Starting in a prison cell. But nothing over here, but... Ah, uh, oh, yes! Uh, we have the skeletal remains of uh, Peter. Peter was a nice friend of mine. Oh, and Nancy, his beautiful wife! You guys have seen better days though. So, um, yeah, let's get out of here. Alright, so we're gonna need something like a bolt cutter to actually get out of here, which we'll get to fairly soon. <laughs> Don't know why I did that, but uh, something freaked me out. <laughs> ah, Barbara! Yeah, she's, 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 uh, had better days as well. Uh, we're in a torture chamber, by the way, here. And what's it say? Help me, brother. Okay, well. Let's uh, get ourselves out of here. Now we've got another uh, torture device here. Uh, it doesn't look too pleasant. And, uh... Oh, Rob! Don't worry, Rob. I'll, I'll get you out of that uh, cell. I'll, I'll, I'll get some bolt cutters soon. Oh. You don't want to be sat in that. And, uh, well, unfortunately a scrap of paper won't help, but we do need a lockpick. Just heard a body drop, so we're gonna go straight down. One thing I love about Capcom is that, you know, they really get the atmosphere correct. They do so well with this formula that they've created with the Resident Evil series. Barbara's dropped, and we can see, oh, that is a bad way to go. Uh, <laughs> got the bolt kick cutters that we need to just... Rip out of her. 
Sorry, Barbara. And we've got the bolt cutters. All right, now that we've got them, we can start opening some of these uh, locked doors. Uh, let's go see uh, how our friend uh, Rob's doing. Oh dear. Well, Rob. What a way to go. <laughs> that's really awesome how they made the body just like rotate like that though. That's that's pretty messed up though. Alright, let's get out of here and uh, let's uh, leave uh, Rob alone. It doesn't really seem like he wants to talk right now. Um, oh, okay. Yep. Let's go through this door. Use the bolt cutters again. Classic Resident Evil, having to use the bolt cutters to get through doors and so forth. Um, another torture chamber. Uh, in front of us, we've got the bucket. Uh, this is what the note was mentioning about. You'll find something uh, in a pool of blood. Now we've got the lock pick. Fabulous. Uh, so let's get out of here. Um, let's definitely get out of here. Okay, okay, okay. It's all in our head. We'll be fine. Okay, let's let's just um let's get out of here. And the door has opened and we are here. Look how amazing this looks. This looks insane. Alright, let's uh, go straight ahead. Alright, we're in a wine cellar. The audio design is so brilliant. Gosh, this looks so insane. Just look at the ground, just look around you. That is so messed up on so many levels. Dance, uh, Macabre. This stinks so bad. Yeah, I bet it does. It's unfortunately, I don't have smell of vision. Alright, so what we need to do now is crouch, go through this, which will show off another secret passage for us to get through. Ah, barrels. And yeah, we'll go straight down. Yeah, so throughout this whole demo, um, like, there's like no weapons or way for me to fight or, you know, defend myself. It's literally like, you're the maiden, you're helpless, and you need to get out of here. One way or the other. <laughs> oh, got a note here. June 9th, 1958. It was my first day working at the castle today. I was most shocked to see the masters of the house were all women. The mistress and her daughters were very adamant that they wouldn't bite. It was quite peculiar. June 23rd, 1958. It has been two weeks since I started working at the castle, and I am a little afraid. Another maid, Adela, made a mistake and Miss Daniela slashed her face with a knife. And at night, I can hear wailing as if ghosts roam the halls. I want to go home. July 8th, 1958. I don't know what to do. The young ladies were complaining it was too hot and stuffy during dinner, so I opened the window just to crack. Shut it! Shut it now! They all shrieked at me in unison. I fear I may be taken down into the cellar, never to be seen again. I don't know what to do. 
I don't know what to do. You know, I think this was the guy that gave us that note to begin with because I think he probably knew how to, you know, navigate throughout this castle saying as he was working here for a few weeks. So I do have some suspicions that maybe he created these openings uh, for all we know. All right, now first thing what we need to do is go up this ladder. Yellow marks the spot. A lot of gamers do that. Um, where they have like some sort of markings to uh, tell you where to go. And I love the first person camera so much. Like when Resident Evil 7 did this, like it really made this game a lot more immersive in my opinion. Okay, so we're in now. Right, we're inside the mansion. Okay, we can't go through there, but we do have an opening here. All right, so let's be very careful because the last thing we need to do is get detected. Anything behind there? Nope. What a mansion! Right. Oh, just look at the visuals. Look at the texture on that painting. Capcom's RE engine is extremely good. Like, another thing I'll say is that when it comes to Resident Evil games, um, they've always been so crisp and sharp when it comes to visuals, they're just so good. Right, so we've got a door here. One eye is just an empty socket. Yeah, so we clearly need an eyeball to go in there. Uh, we'll go around here first. Oh, look, it's uh, my long lost uh, sister, Nancy. Great portrait of her. Nothing there, and we have a dead end. So what we need to do now is just go downstairs and um, go through some doorways. So freaky. All right, so we've got a front door here, locked, locked, and that leaves us to that final door over there. All right, let's go straight through. There is a lot of blood here. It's wintry out there. Hopefully I'll have a coat or something. Cold wind. Mm, nothing in the drawer. And here we have the glass. So what we need to do is, um, besides looking at this majestic glass, we need to look inside it. Because inside there will be a ring with an eyeball. So tap triangle. Uh, go into the ring, we need to examine this and uh, take the eyeball out. Right. Oh, we can see the blood trail and... Oh gosh, there's someone there! When I first played this, honestly, like... <laughs> I don't think I noticed that at all. Oh snap! Uh, nothing around here. Okay. <laughs> that was crazy. It's not just sound effects. No, there are actual people <laughs> walking around here. That's so freaky. Okay. Now let's go straight through the actual doorway. 
Uh, let's use the maroon eye. You have unlocked it. Yes, I have. And uh, we have a note over here. The winemaking techniques of Castle Dimitrescu, I probably butchered that pronunciation, can be traced as far back as the 15th century, long before the current occupants of the castle. Alicia Dimitrescu used the legendary yet peculiar technique to enrich the wine's flavour, intensity, and bestow it with a thick bouquet. Her best vintage is Sangui Virginis, meaning maiden's blood. It is kept in a special ornate bottle decorated with intricate silver flowers. Now, I don't like the sound of maiden's blood, saying as I am a maiden as well, so, uh... Let's avoid that at all costs. Now we need to go through this. And we will find... The Courtyard Key. I love the dramatic music that Resident Evil does. Ah, oh, the key! <laughs> um, ah, nothing in there. And we can't go through there. And that's it for this, um... Place. So what we need to do now is head off downstairs and get out of here. I'm watching you. No, you're not. Right. I won't last until dinner. Okay. 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 It's my ex-girlfriend! <laughs> no! <laughs> okay! This is why you block all contact with your exes! <sighs> well, that just happened. Right. <laughs> Okay, what we need to do now is use that key and get out of here. So we finally meet. 